is sponsored by Skilled Violence, lifestyle and apparel brand. Bailey King with Will Capazano in his corner. If you've uh, been in the Texas MMA scene or watched the WEC early days, uh, I believe he fought in the UFC. I'm not not for sure. Uh, Will Capazano is uh, you know one of the founding members of Texas MMA, as far as I'm concerned. He was uh, he was an OG when when I first started. Yes, that's awesome. So look forward to. Uh, his student, Bailey King, being really dynamic. Uh, Will Cabazano, dynamic in his own right. A lot of uh, flying knees, good technical kickboxing. And, uh, you know, you can only expect the same thing from his student. This guy's a tower. He's 6'5". He's looking confident. He's coming in. Has a good corner behind him. Has a good camp behind him. This should be an interesting fight. Yeah, no doubt. Sense a lot of energy in these two guys. Be a good one right here. Let's hand it over to Antonio. Bring him in. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Still the Violence. It is scheduled for three rounds in the XKO welterweight division. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the next bank blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding an amateur record, one victory, one defeat. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in 170 pounds, fighting out of Midlothian, Texas, presenting the one and only BGP Sutton. And now with the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Jim Ross red corner, a striker holding an amateur record, one victory, zero defeats, one win by knockout. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in 170 pounds, fighting at a little elm, Texas, Bailey, Bad Company King. And now your three, A.A. Ron Menard. All right, guys, we know the rules in the back. Protect yourself at all times and obey my commands at all times. Catch gloves, what? Let's do this. Here we go. I'm excited. Yeah, this would be a good one. There's some different energy about this one. And King's got that crowd behind him. We can feed off yeah. that crowd. Oh, yeah. All right, we're underway. Both orthodox stance coming out. King looking real loose. He's definitely the taller fighter here. He can use his reach, his kicks, punches, his jab here. Stay yeah, on the outside. I feel Sutton's going to want to close the distance and take him down. He's being real smart. Sticking with his jab, long leg kicks. A lot of feints there, a lot of feints. Nice leg kick. It's crazy to see the level of these amateurs nowadays. I mean, mm -hmm. leaps and bounds above where it was a few years ago. 100%, this sport is growing every single day. Oh, nice, nice check jab. left. Check left hook right there. Yeah, right off that inside leg kick. And he's cutting off the cage real nicely. He's trapping him right in the corner. 
That's what I love about this, this square cage. You can put him right in the corner. Nice teep right there. He's trapping him in the oh, corner. overhand right by Beachy. Yeah, he's going to come out swinging. Beachy is there to scrap, man. Oh, Two late kicks in a row. Not checked there. King staying right in his face. Got to try to set those head kicks up. Yeah, you can see he's looking for that check left hook. Nice teeps. Ooh, he's that right. Oh, nice double jab right. And yeah, King's just walking him down. But he needs to keep his defense tight so he doesn't get caught while he's walking in. Yep. He's very comfortable out there, very loose, but it all it takes is one punch. Yeah. They are swinging here. This is the kind of fight we want to see. <laughs> this is very entertaining so far. Oh! He's head hunting Another now. Hand right yeah, right good there. thing he had his hand up on that. He would have got dropped with that one. Yeah, there again. Take down right yeah, there. Yeah, that was smart. Smart to take him down. Sealed the round. Uh, Sutton landed two hard right hands, but uh, King had his hand up. Barely blocked those. I'm sure he yeah. still felt the power, though. Nice hammer fist to finish out the round. Good first round. I think... Uh, I think King took that round. Yeah, I feel like, uh, especially with that last takedown, it, it was anybody's, but he was, uh, you know, pursuing him and cutting off the cage really well. Um, yeah, I'd definitely give it to King in that right. Second round, almost on the way. Ooh, nice, you hit him with that check. There we go, set up that oh. jab. He's just throwing kicks all day long. That pressure oh. is nice. Beautiful head kick. Yeah, he smacked him with the toes on that one. Sutton has, wants none of that, and he's trying to take it down to the ground here. He can take the back. He can hop on and take the back here. If he can get that leg out. Well-placed hammer fists. Yeah, Sutton oh, man, doesn't like that. Those hammer fists made a move right there. Oh, drags him to the ground and mistakenly pulls him on top of him. Yeah, Sutton's going to use this to his advantage. He can peek out the back door, take the back. What a fight. Good way. Good job getting back up to his feet there. Yeah, very nice work by King. He's looking for that single leg, outside single leg there. Looks like he's out. Knee on the break there. Right back to pressure. Right back in his face. <laughs> Overhand right in the miss right there. Yeah. You can hear the crowd yelling, Chad. Oh. Props him with the right oh, hand. The right oh, hand. he's swarming. Is it over? It's over. It's over. Dang, what wow. a finish. Great fight there. Yeah, it was that straight right hand put him wow. down. And, uh, you know, followed up with a swarm 
of ground and pound and put him away. Beautiful performance wow, by pops King. Wow, the King there, pops the King. That was a beautiful right hand. He used his reach all the whole fight. He used his teeth, his range, his pressure. He, he did a great to... job of putting his hands up when he needed to. I mean, right. he got his hand in the perfect position to block the, the hard overhand rights. The ones that, I mean, I think I would have put him down if they would have landed. You could hear him smacking on the glove. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, great performance overall. Look forward to seeing some more out of this kid. Oh, yeah. Bailey King moves to 2-0 and oh in his pro or in his amateur record. I'm sorry. And you know, credit to Beachy Sutton, too. You know, he, uh, he hung in there. Uh... He threw some good shots. I think he'll learn a lot from this, from a lot from this fight, man. You know. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. He'll he'll learn to he'll set up his his right hand. Uh, he's obviously got a killer right hand, but he was kind of winging it. He needs to set it up with that double jab and and kind of get on the inside. Yeah. He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, no doubt about that. Show respect. That's what I love about this sport. You know, no matter what happens at the end of the day, it's all about respect. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Aaron Menard, is on the top of the contest. At one minute, 42 seconds, into round number two, declaring a winner by TKO, Bad Company, Bailey King! It's been a good night for the red corner.